Well, the crisis in Puerto Rico is growing a week after Hurricane Maria devastated that island. Now, more than three million people live there. Many others, including Virginians, are trapped with no way to get home. Today on your side, Stephanie Harris spoke with a local woman worried about her sister and brother-in-law that are stuck. Yeah, they went there to celebrate their anniversary, and now they say it'll probably be at least another week before they can get home. Mm. Leslie Jarvis of Newport News has been communicating with her family via text message. I also asked Senator Tim Kaine today about the slow pace at which aid is reaching the island. Helen and Rocky Teal are tourists trapped in Puerto Rico. They were forced to evacuate the resort as Maria approached. Luckily, they have a friend who lives on the island and went to stay with him. Last night, they texted this message, hanging tight, working on getting transportation to the airport October 2nd. That's the soonest they can book a flight. Helen Jarvis told 10 on your side her sister already paid $250 cash to get to the San Juan airport, but turned right around and left because she just didn't feel safe. People are standing in long lines inside the sweltering airport. CNN reports only one vendor is selling water. I talked with Senator Tim Kaine about the dire situation. The key for Puerto Rico is to get the airport up and running in a, in a more robust capacity as soon as we can. Um, FEMA is directing that effort. Kane expressed worry that Congress doesn't seem to have the same sense of urgency about getting relief to Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands as they did for Florida and Texas. Puerto Rico especially has really high per capita military service. These are extremely patriotic individuals when it comes to volunteering for the military. And it would be very unfair for us to, to treat these American citizens as second class when it comes to providing aid. Now, some say the Jones Act is preventing gasoline and other supplies from getting to Puerto Rico. This law requires goods shipped between American ports be done with American ships. Now, the Trump administration said yesterday it would not waive the act that was waived for Florida and Texas. The administration says that in this case, the ports are too damaged and it wouldn't help. Senator Kane says that he has directed his staff to look into it. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.